Hi there. I, I'm doing this question because I found it complicated and I didn't think that Alex's explanations were very good. And I can't explain why it works the way it does because I don't understand, I don't understand a lot of the crap in this. I'm just showing you guys how to do it so that you don't have to struggle through the entire thing. And there's no other videos on YouTube for this section and Alex, so I'm just going to try my best. So you start out by writing out the balanced chemical equation. So I just start out with this, the product. And then you look at the reactants, you have NH3. And for some reason, HgNO32 becomes Hg H2O2, and then you add the charge on the product to this. And for any other questions, um, actually this is four, <laughs> because this is four. For any other questions, um, the H2O will have a, super, a subscript based on the subscript that's right here. So if you have Hg and H32, it would be Hg H2O2. So then um, I just write the molar concentration right here for each of them that you find right here. And then you're supposed to pick any volume you want. Just make sure that they're equal. I choose uh, one liter. So you multiply one liter times the molar molarity, which is moles over liter. So by multiplying it, you cancel out the liters to get your number of moles. So for this, you get 0 0.0014 moles. And for this one, you get 0 0.62 moles. Now, uh, you add these two liters together to get two liters. That's your total solution for both of these added together. So then you would divide your moles by two liters to get your new uh, molarity. for each of them. And then you uh, do that equation thing. I don't know what it's called. I probably do know what it's called, but I don't remember right now. Remember that this will be uh, have a sub superscript of four because it's uh, actually I should I forgot to put four in that balanced equation. Whoops, because there's four moles of it here, so there will be a superscript of four there, and then this equals the Kf, which was one point nine one times ten to the nineteenth. Because this is so large and you'll get a complicated quadratic formula, uh, Alex says to just skip that. So I'm going to go to a rice table, make a rice table uh, with uh, Hg, H2O, 4, 2 plus, and then this is NH3. I usually put a superscript up here just so I don't forget to like write it in the chart itself and then HG whenever it has a greater number of moles than one so then we have 0 0.0007 moles because of that and then we have 0 0.31 mole oops 31 moles because of this and this will be zero because that's what we start off with. So then we do x there. And this will be minus x. And this will be minus 4x because there are a superscript of 4. So then this is 0 0.0007 minus x. 0 0.31 minus 4x. And that's just x. Um, 
you can write another equation that looks like this, but that wastes time. So because you have to reverse it in order to figure out um, the equilibrium molarity to begin with. So I just go to another chart immediately. And it's the same uh, numbers right here, the same uh, whatever these are called, things used in the equation. So you're looking for what happens when it reaches equilibrium. And that usually means the, um, the rate limiting constant, the rate limiting one will be the one that goes to zero. And in that case, it's this one. So this will be zero when you're going in reverse. So zero, x, x. And this, this one is what caught me up the entire time. So this NH3, four, zero, you have to look back up here. So when you take, you take your initial, your new concentration, 0 0.31 molars, and then you subtract, you you look at your concentration of HGH2O4, and then you would 0 0.00707 times the number of moles for NH3. So, so that times four equals 0 0.0028 mole molarity. So then you would do 0 0.31 minus 0 0.0028 M to get um, 0 0.3072. So remember that when you're writing this number in here. Whoops. And then it's because there's a constant of four right there, exponent, it would be plus four X because you're going the opposite in the reaction, reversing the reaction. So it'd be 0 0.03072. I am so sorry, my handwriting sucks. Plus four X. And then this will be the initial of that. So 0 0.0007 moles because the rate limiting is the number that you'll have for the product. And then you would do minus x because the thing's going in reverse. So 0 0.0007 minus x. And then um, you make that new equation. So 0 0.0007 minus x over x times 0 0.3072 equals the kf which is 1.91 times uh, 10 to the 19th and then you would rearrange it so that you can get the value of x so x equals 0 0.0007 divided by 1.91 times 10 to the 19th times 0 0.3072 to the power of four. And the reason why I left out the x's, like the, the plus four x and the, cross that out, is because I have no idea. It just says to do that, and I'm guessing it's because this number is so large. And we do that with um, small numbers too when it it's above 500. So then x equals 4.115 times 10 to the negative 21. And that's your equilibrium molarity for, uh, I think this.